Yashna is a South African singer songwriter born and raised in Durban. Music is in me, music is my, like most of my life. So I'm happy to be a part of it and I'm happy to be music is me. Um, so I released my first solo project last year called This is on My Broken Heart. And I recently released a collaborative project called Chemistry with me as well. Yeah, it was inspired by true life events. You know, I was in a relationship and it didn't end the way I would have hoped. And it inspired me to go on and write songs about it. And then we ended up with this on my broken heart. So it basically tells a story of love. Like the moment you fall in love and you know, promises are made and you have it all set out, but then it doesn't pan out that way. So it starts off from falling in love and then the heartbreak to overcoming that heartbreak to the point where you love yourself enough to know that a relationship doesn't define you and that all the power lies within you and that's why we end up winning because you know you gotta win out here as a strong independent female. So we have Chris Nix who is an absolutely talented rapper from Durban. We have um, and that was very organic, like we, we had a lot of chemistry with the music, so he's on two songs, not just one. And we have Kay Begara, who I was in a group called Man High with. Um, yeah, we're no longer together, but we, we focus on our solo individual craft. Um, and we also, I also had Loki, Loki Loco, the one and only, the dope, 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 dope Durban rapper on the EP as well, yeah. My favorite song has got to be winning. Like it's undeniable that 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 is my favorite song. So winning, um, in comparison to all the songs on my EP, I wrote all the songs on my EP until it came to winning. Winning, I was actually it was co-written um, with P Dog, Action, and Scrunch Supernova. So it was a very different take. It was the first song that had ever been written for me because I was so used to just writing for myself. So it was a new experience. You know, I opened the door that um, I normally have closed because you know you have limitations as an artist sometimes but I decided to step out and try something new and then we, were, we had Rene which was super successful in my opinion yeah yeah I am most definitely I feel like I'm going to be cliche answers because they're like kind of the jumpers so I'd love to work with Nasty Z and I'd love to work with Shekinah but there's also a girl named Lisa Mbali who signed an ambitious and she, oh her vocals, like Beyonce type liquidy vocals. So I'd love to do, like, I'm hoping that I'm able to do a ballad with her because I really want to handle the ballad with a powerful female vocalist and her vocals are crazy. So, yeah. So, with regards to music, um, with regards to music, I'm currently in studio working on my next solo project that's set to release in May. Um, yeah, I just, as an artist, I want to explore different genres and so this tape is not even going to be something with like a solid theme. I think a lot of people expect themes from artists, like if you're an R&B singer, you got to stay in your lane. But with this project, I'm just trying to showcase, you know, how dynamic I can be and how diverse I can be, you know. So that's my aim with this project, is just to showcase the different colors of my rainbow on it. Project X and we have it named on the, the computer as don't know yet because I don't know yet but from what it sounds like it's gonna be I don't know it could be anything at this point but I think once I, I feel what's right I don't know what the title is but now I'm just like making a lot of music and I'm gonna narrow it down to the best close to the time. So I already have artists that are featured um, to name a few. I don't want to just throw names out too much because you know things can change. But for now we have Ivy and Neptune, we have Eric Rush, we have Cheese Man Child. Yeah. On production we have Neon Dao. There's a guy named Snenzo Deborah. Um, which see I'm naming producers but I don't know if they're gonna get to the final cut. Um, we have Audio Sims, we have Squad Supernova, we have 
tea bag. We have this is a letter for Jaden Daniel. It's just a matter of narrowing it down. So guys, we're not only that I still love you. It's just that I have to narrow it down. Because EP is not an album or a mixtape. Um, so my comfort zone is r and I'm trying not to stick there, but you get a taste of it in some of the songs. We have R&B, we have hip hop, we have a ballad, we have um, this is a new genre. I don't really remember the name of it, but it's just different vibes. That J Balvin type vibe we're gonna try and tap into, you know, just, just trying new things, just to, you know, just showcase my diversity with the music. Um. I'm not gonna try and sound better, but I'm gonna be real in saying that um, what I have noticed about this industry and the game right now is if you have hype, you have the following, and you have the support. And from what I've experienced, they don't let you in if you don't have that hype. And what I'm doing is just embracing my story and my journey, and I'm just trying to have fun with that. And if it works out, when it works out, however it works out, I'm just gonna be happy with that because I know I've put in the work. It'll work. It'll work out. So that's my thing. I, am I happy with the game? I don't feel like it's fair, but that's another story for another day because it can get super, super deep. And I'm not gonna complain about it. I rather focus on the positives and the fact that I'm doing my part and I'm putting in the work. And faith without works is dead, but my faith is alive because I'm putting in the work. So it should, it should be. Right now, I'm an independent artist. Um, I guess the end goal is always to be signed with a, with a major label, someone that has your best interests at heart. So I'm not going to be too hasty to just sign, like, just for the sake of signing. I'm obviously going to weigh out my options when the time comes, you know. Um, but I would like, it's, it's a lot of work. As an independent artist, it's like 50 times harder than being signed to a label with regards to pushing your music and getting your stuff out there and building a following. So I think the end goal will be, will be to be signed. Yeah, I won't deny that, but to a label that I feel is right for me. Okay, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at yashna underscore int, Y-A-S-H-N-A underscore int on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Yeah, that's basically it. No Facebook. Hi guys, you're watching Organic Mag, and this is Yashna, me, myself, and I, yes. Please check out my latest project, This So My Broken Heart, on Audio Mac, as well as Chemistry My Joint, collaborative project with Neil Dowell, which is also on Audio Mac. You can find them on all socials as well, all my socials. Okay, boom, boom.